BPH is benign prostatic hyperplasia. It relates to the process of growth of the prostate that occurs in men beginning in their age 40s. It causes compression of the urethra tube through which urine flows, and it can cause a lot of bothersome lower urinary tract symptoms like weak stream, getting up at night to go to the bathroom multiple times, and rushing to the bathroom during the day. Roughly 40 million men worldwide are affected by BPH, about a third of men in their 50s, and about 90% of men by the time they reach 85. BPH is classically treated uh, in many different ways. We typically start with medications. These are medications that relax the urine channel through which the urine flows, and then there are some medications that can actually physically decrease the size of the prostate or at least prevent it from growing as it grows at a rate of 5% every year we're alive after age 40. When medications either don't provide men the benefits they're looking for or symptoms progress as they age, we have to look to more aggressive treatments to physically open the urine channel and or shrink the prostate. We currently have available multiple minimally invasive surgical techniques, things like the Urolift system and resume water vapor therapy, which can achieve a lot of the same goals that more advanced older surgeries can provide while limiting the amount of side effects that can occur in patients and shortening recovery time. These can even be performed in the office. While BPH involves prostatic enlargement, it has nothing to do with prostate cancer. Most of the symptoms that men feel is related to BPH and not related to prostate cancer, although we often will check PSA blood tests to monitor for the presence of prostate cancer if that's something that, that we need to do in that patient population. Usually there aren't any other medical problems that would lead or make BPH worse. It's typically a process just related to aging in the prostate, and it does run in some families where if men's fathers or brothers have had issues, they may be more likely to have issues as well. If you've noticed a significant weakness of your urine stream, if you've been rushing to the bathroom and can't get through the daily activities of your life, like driving to work or getting through business meetings or even sitting through a movie, or if you're losing sleep and, and feeling depressed and exhausted from the number of times you're having to get up at night, it's reasonable to go see your primary care provider or get a referral to a urological specialist and see if you might be a candidate for any of the treatment options that I mentioned in order to get you some relief of those symptoms.